guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Tan if you're new. In today's video, we have a unit that was sent over from Arabella Hair. Now, this is my first time ever working with them, but I have seen them on some of my favorite YouTubers' channels before, and the hair always looks bomb, so I was pretty excited when they reached out. They sent over their new Highlight Gold Sand Transparent 13x4 Lace Frontal Wig. Now, this unit comes in multiple options. You can get the 4x4 lace, a 13x4 lace, body wave, straight, or jerry curl textured, and it comes in 18, 20, 22, 24, and 26 inches. I received the 13x4 body wave in 22 inches. According to the website, this unit is 180% density with an average cap sizing of about 54 to 58 centimeters, which is about, I'm going to say 21 to 22 inches. This unit is 100% human hair, so with the proper care, it should last you a year plus. The cap construction for this unit has four combs in total, one in the back, one on each side, and then one in the very center. It also comes with adjustable straps and a pre-attached elastic band. Something I'm noticing right off the bat is this is a true 13x4 lace frontal unit, so therefore you're getting 13 inches going straight across and then 4 inches going straight back throughout the entire frontal. If you wear a lot of wigs, then you know most of the time they have like that dip on the side, and they still consider those 13x4s, but they're not really true 13x4s. With this one, you're truly getting a 13x4 lace frontal unit. So if you are someone who likes to create really deep side parts or want to even make like cute little cute designs like here on the side, then this unit is probably for you. <laughs> the knots on the unit look like they had been bleached, but I felt like they needed a little bit more bleaching, so I went in and I did that. The unit also looked like it had been pre-plugged, but I also went in and plugged it just a little bit more. I'm pretty sure that's all I have to say regarding the structure of the unit, but I'm going to go ahead and install her and then I'll come back with my final thoughts. Go ahead and talk about this unit from Arabella Hair. To start off, the hair is super soft. It was soft when I first pulled it out of the package, but I feel like after I washed and conditioned it, it almost got like softer. I also like the highlights that are throughout this entire unit. I feel like they're not chunky in any spaces, and also the ombre effect from the dark roots to the lighter pieces has been done really well. I also like how the highlights are throughout the entire unit in like a very subtle yet noticeable way. I'm also really liking the lace on this unit. The lace is really thin and low key at first I got a little bit nervous because I was like I don't want to rip it but at the same time I was really excited because I was like I know the melt is going to eat and I was right. <laughs> Due to the lace being so thin, I would recommend that you be very careful whenever you go to place the unit down on your head just to avoid ripping the lace. I did go ahead and curl this unit last night and I also used pins and a ton of hairspray as well. And so far the curls are holding up but I do think that they're going to fall pretty fast. I went in with my wide tooth comb to kind of comb out the curls. I don't know, to me I just felt like if I used a paddle brush it might have been too heavy on the hair and that would have made the curls fall even faster. 
texture. I will say though, if I ever decide to cut layers into this unit, I'm sure the curls are gonna look even more fuller. Speaking of looking fuller, on the website it says that this unit is 180% density. In my opinion, I would say that she's more so of 150% density. She's not super super thin, it's just not giving 180. If you were wondering, this unit is for sure big head friendly. I was able to cut off so much lace around like my ears and I loved it. <laughs> I was also able to adjust the straps in the back and I put them on the second loop in, but honestly I could have gone even further in. The unit isn't slipping and sliding all over my head or anything like that, but if I wanted a tighter fit I could definitely do it but then still be comfortable in the unit. Earlier I stated how this unit is 22 inches long, so when all of the hair is pushed to the front it stops right underneath my breasts, but when all of the hair is pushed to the back I want to say it stops mid back. And just for reference I am 5'7". Now as far as tangling and shading is concerned I am getting a few snags here and there. It could be partially due to the amount of hairspray that I used on this unit because I don't really remember it snagging that much while I was curling the unit. As far as shading is concerned I'm sure that's for me plucking the unit and then also cutting off the ear tab. But yeah that's pretty much all I have to say about this unit. I think she's really pretty and I also think she'll be great for spring and summer because of how lightweight she is. But let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up. Also make sure you subscribe to the channel before you leave and also make sure you click the bell that way you're notified anytime that I upload a video. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. They're both at Tan Dotson. I'll be sure to have all the information for this unit down in the description box below so make sure you check that out. I don't have anything else to say though except for I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.